right, what's good, YouTube? It's Jay here. So there is now leaked footage of the actual like MW2 camo, like mastery camos currently in the game. We've got Arachid, Arachida, a Borealis, Bioluminescent, Golden Ivory, Golden Enigma, Gold, Orion, Platinum, Polyatomic, Spinal Hub, Serpentine Knight, and Zir 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 Zircon Scale. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell what we've got here because it's a Twitter video. Okay, so that's the spider camo. People have been calling this like the venom camo. This is bioluminescent. Dude, that looks sick. Look at that. Arachnida. Bioluminescent again. Come on. All right, we got gold. Gold. Oh my God, that looks insane. So that's golden ivory. Orion. Platinum. Kind of hard really to tell what's going on with the platinum here. I can't wait to see Orion in this game. I can't wait to see all the guns and stuff in this game. Wow. So that's Orion. There's platinum. Polyatomic. I know it's just like a little heartbeat, but this looks sick. All right, come on, man. You can't just power through that. Spinal Husk. So there's multiple mastery camos. So this is like base. There's platinum, polyatomic. So it went before an MW2 went gold, platinum, polyatomic, and then Orion. So there's Borealis. <laughs> looks insane wait what is this what is this gold gold enigma or is that gold ivory or is this gold enigma oh that's gold enigma okay this is when you master each camo oh that looks so much better actually because you can see it on the guns dude that looks insane Wow, that's gorgeous, actually. Holy cow. It could have all been so simple, dude. Like, why couldn't IW do stuff like this? Like, it took them 10 years to even make Orion animated. And even then, it's still... Actually, I really don't mind it now, but it's still super slow. This is this is sick. Spinal Husk, Borealis. Like, oh my god, I'm in love with this. Even Jeb's happy. You know, Jeb is huge on camel grinding. I'm excited. I, I, I love, I love, I love, I love when they add good camos. It just sucks that the MW2 guns won't be able to use these masteries. I know there's a bunch of like zombie camos you'll be able to unlock and they're actually usable on the mw2 weapons i don't know which of these are these zombie camo like this actually makes me want to play zombies like if there's so many options like this i want to actually play the zombies mode now because that looks incredible also shout out to my homie jj for recording footage for me i don't have access to the beta because i do not have a playstation currently but the pc beta is coming up what sucks is i'm at the work on that weekend uh that the pc beta is going to be dropping so i'm only going to really be able to get footage like after like 6 p.m. on all of those days, it's gonna be out. It's gonna actually be kind of hell. All right, so he did the courtesy of going through like all the menus and like gear and stuff. We've kind of seen a lot of this in one of the previous videos and some of the shorts that I did. So what I do think is nuts is the fact that this breacher drone is is not a kill streak. I've seen people use this. It's literally a drone that just flies in a direction with a C4 strapped to it. That's kind of nuts. All the SMG options, all the pistol options. I mean, like this is all we got so far. The Renetti, the Core 40, uh, 45, which looks like another form of the Glock, I guess. All the faction skins. I mean, you're pretty standard stuff. I really, 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 really like the default camos in this. They look sick. How did they do the Milsim realistic shit better than IW did? Like, these still look better than all the Milsim skins that we got actually in Modern Warfare 2. That's so hilarious to me. Like, come on. They look so much cooler. They got so much more detail, so much more gear strapped onto them. They actually look sick. I'm infinitely more jealous of the people that have access to this right now. Like, I really wish I had access to a PlayStation. It would be so great, man. Like, the game looks fun. It looks like it's an absolute blast. People have been complaining about, like, the Vanguard sites. They've grown on me just from the visuals that I've seen. Like, they fit this game, in my personal opinion, just a little bit better. And they kind of give it a weird, like, um futuristic kind of feel to it and we got something to talk about related to futuristic stuff because apparently there are going to be aw weapons rumored to be coming in season three how are we already at season three of the game when it's not even out yet i couldn't tell you but i'm not mad about the fact that we already kind of know what's supposed to be happening throughout the year we know we're going to be getting three maps every season uh, a bunch of like original maps and a bunch of nostalgic maps this is also call of duty's 20th anniversary so it makes me wonder are they going to do like a theme every single season where like the game itself like the maps and everything in that season is gonna be themed around older Call of Duty games because if, if AW guns and weapons are supposed to be coming, oh dude, that like just leaves so many options for whatever else they could be doing for the other remaining seasons. Dude, that CTK is no joke. I can't tell if that guy had Battle Rage on or what, but that CTK is no joke, man. Like it really is not instant kill like the other MW was, which I, I love that. I love that so much. Like actual gunfights, in my opinion, are so much more enjoyable than insta-killing somebody. Insta-killing is only fun when a certain gun is like broken or something. 
Oh, look at that. Look at that. He's going in for the side. Yeah, that battle rage is cracked. I, like, he had to have had battle rage right there. The quality here looks really good. I can't tell if it's just a recording or the actual gameplay itself. But from what I've seen so far with the PlayStation, damn, he just fried that guy. From what I've seen with the PlayStation, like, gameplay, it looks clean overall. I have been noticing, like, Signal 50 icons popping up in the corner. I've seen things for, like, the M4 popping up. And apparently somebody got, like, a picture of Albagra Fortress to pop up under map selection. What a lot of people don't realize is for a lot of games like COD, a lot of assets are going to be re used and built off of those other platforms. COD's not the only game that does it. But whenever you got a game that's like a sequel after a sequel after a sequel, like Mass Effect even, I know that's a single player game, that game reuses assets from the previous game and just kind of improves upon them. Oh, oh, come on. Yeah, oh, no, he could have fried him, dude. It's nice to see just fast, like, gameplay overall. It's just, like, the gunplay, man. Like, the overall movement, not necessarily slot canceling, but just seeing, like, actual, like, movement. It looks so much better than just the slow pace. <laughs> and then just, like, slowly aiming. Like, oh, man, it's gonna be so nice. If you want to camp, you can play like that. If you want to get aggressive, you can play like that without just getting brutally punished for it. And I love that, man. Uh, people are pretty much gonna be exclusively rocking those Dead Silence boots. I already know it. That's pretty much the only thing people are gonna wanna rock. I know it's the one thing I'm pretty much only gonna wanna rock. Just like we dealt with not having it for a, a whole year. I'm happy that we actually have Dead Silence again. That CCK really is no joke, man. Like he, I felt like he thought he probably killed the guy right there, but he actually did it. <laughs> We're so used to that instant kill Phil from MW and Vanguard and MW19. Obviously Cold War had a really slow TTK and according to exclusive Ace, apparently this TTK is pretty much uh, like exactly like Cold War's TTK. People have been saying the TTK is also just extremely inconsistent too. I think some guns are just stronger than the others and vice versa. I think it just depends the weapons like some of the other ones are just weaker and some of the other ones are just outright stronger also i'm really not going to be calling the acr the mcw or whatever that's just stupid i'm not calling it the mcw it's the acr or bus like look at look, just look at the amount of like just running around oh that's just just what i like man wow he got popped that's what i like to see man just running around actually playing the game and moving you know it, it's such a better viewing experience in my personal opinion i've seen a lot of tiktok kids do the whole why why looking at the ground spinning like they're drugged out of their mind i hate that shit please don't do that it's not impressive at all it's literally the most nauseating thing ever i despise looking at clips like that like it's one thing if you're like actually like out playing people when you're just spamming why why and just spinning in a circle dude just look stupid it's not impressive it's not entertaining i don't care what anybody says new rumors claim that modern warfare 3's post launch season may include or be themed around advanced warfare and introduce aw guns into mw3 i don't know how people are going to feel about the laser gun because people weren't really crazy about it in vanguard but i think it's kind of great when they do stupid stuff like this it's what makes cod fun we've got the em1 the as the ams1 um butchered that the bow 27 and the moors i'm pretty certain this is the sniper rifle when you shot you had to reload it like after every single bullet the bow uh, i would kill to have these guns in here man i didn't get to play aw in its prime so when i did get around play to playing it yeah i had a field day they're already planning dlc and not better game mechanics what do people want like that's my question we want to slide canceling back better movement and all the classic features of call of duty back what else is there to literally add if they add too much people will hate it oh they're planning dlc and not better game mechanics okay well they add more new unique game mechanics okay these game mechanics suck like thank you for what it is man i hate people who just say shit like this i just hope the aw stuff isn't a rumor like that would be fun getting actual futuristic guns that aren't just laser guns back in the game like just completely out of place it was out of place in vanguard because that was supposed to be a world war ii game i won't mind it in this because this literally looks like just fun classic arcadey style cod like it's not taking itself too serious it's not just mill sim and crazy or whatever it's actually like just a video game like it's just trying to be a video game oh yeah people weren't kidding like there's the ffs fss hurricane in the lower left hand <laughs> I've seen a lot of M4s. Those icons are obviously going to change, but it's just kind of funny seeing it. It's just so smooth. It's just buttery smooth. Like, I heard there's a delay with the slide cancel. Like, right after you slide cancel, there's like a sprinting delay kind of thing. I'll get a feel for it when I get the actual, like, PC beta. But this is the first time in a while where I look at a COD, I'm like, I actually want to pre-order this. I didn't pre-order MW2. One of my homies bought that game for me. I didn't pre-order Vanguard. I almost didn't even get Vanguard, but I got it because I wanted to have some kind of Call of Duty related content content for the new season the competitive season they would bring a ranked play back and i was interested in it for that reason and that reason alone and i really didn't like that game this game is the best of both worlds it's in a modern setting but with good movement that isn't mw19 and we've also got a good map pool to kind of play around with 
Now, why they chose Skid Row Estate and Favela as like a showcase for their beta, I, I don't know. Those are the only three maps in the beta currently, and I think that's kind of a real L on their part, honestly. It's the same like multi-layered, like grayish kind of maps with really weird spawns and just hidey spots. Like, I, I, I'm not too crazy about these maps. I didn't grow up playing the old like MW2, but I did get a chance to play it, and I understood why people skipped these maps, you know? Ooh, look at that movement. It's so crisp. Oh, come on, man. You gotta kill him right there. What are you doing? Like, this is a modern setting. Good movement. Not just absurd like MW19. It looks like it's like a nice middle ground. I cannot wait to play it, dude. Next weekend is gonna be so hard for me to focus, especially when it comes to, like, work and stuff. I, I'm gonna be so itching to just play this. As soon as I go on my lunch break every single day, it's immediately me recording a video. That's just how it's gonna be. I, 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 I think I will love this game. I read that The Guardian is pretty OP. I've also seen people complaining about the streaks in the beta. I mean, like, I don't know what people want. Like, yeah, so the streaks are probably a little mid, like for a beta, but it's a beta. Like, there are gonna be way more kill streaks in the game than what we got right now. I've heard the Guardian is insane, though. Like, it's too good. What? Oh, dude, I know he was raging that he didn't get that. Oh, they're gonna, he's gonna break his Guardian. That sucks. So what I find interesting is they didn't put stuns in the game, but they put flashbangs, or at least for this beta anyway. I wonder why they did that. You know what I did notice too? All the soldiers kind of look a little futuristic, like all the character models. They're not exactly futuristic, but they got a futuristic kind of feel to them for some reason. I like the hit marker sound effects too. I wasn't sure about it, just like with the Vanguard sites. It kind of all just has this literal futuristic feel to it overall. The sound effects, the character models, the guns themselves, they all look oddly futuristic. It's just the sights. I think it's really the sights. You've got those clean ELO sights in the game again. It was kind of funny seeing and slate reflector in like the selection menu for sites, but I still think it's pretty cool overall. Like I don't mind it. They fit this game way better than they do a World War II game. Damn, he got to another game quick. There's a plethora of footage here for me to use, but we're gonna end it here today, guys. I'm excited for MW2. I <laughs> <laughs> Almost got me. I'm excited for MW3. The gameplay looks nice. The maps I'm excited to play on. I'm excited to see what they bring seasonally. It just looks like a very refined version of MW19 and MW2 and taking all those elements and kind of making a really smooth experience. I'm excited to play it. If you've played the beta, let me know what you think about it.